Hey everyone, this is Anna. Just wanted to show you a cowl, a very quick cowl. I made this in about two or and a half or three hours. And this is my own version of the popcorn stitch, or at least I'm calling it, calling it that. It's a lot of fun. I made this cowl with it. I have a few mistakes here and there. You know, remember I'm still a beginner. But it looks really pretty. You can make this project really, really quickly. I have my nuts on the other side because I haven't cut them yet. But this is more of a collar or a cowl. So the way you do this is with chunky yarn. So choose whichever chunky yarn you like. I got, I think this is the Lion Brand. It, Lion Brand and Red Heart have a very nice chunky yarn. Um, and then I have a size K USA needle uh, oh. hook. I'm sorry, a hook. But I, I, you could use a smaller one if you want to. So I'm going to chain up 72 stitches, but feel free to only chain 65 or 70 if you want to because it's a little large so if you want it a little snugger you can make it a little bit more snug by chaining only 65 one two three alright so I made actually 65 only because I feel that that's enough it's gonna be a lot more snug and I'm gonna chain up two one two and now I'm gonna start heading back down my chain and since I chained up two, I'm going to go back to the source one, which is this one, and I'm going to go in with my hook, bring the yarn out, and stretch it for the length of the two stitches that I chained up. Yarn over, hold on, let me get more yarn here. Yarn over, go in, bring it up again. Yarn over, go in, bring it out again. And now you have all of these stitches that you need to secure in place, like that. And you're going to chain two more. And you're going to skip one over here and go into the next one. I'm skipping this one and going into the next one. And you're going to repeat the same pattern. Bring it out to the same length. Yarn over. Bring it out. Yarn over. Bring it out. Bring it out. Secure it and chain two. One, two. Skip one over here, go into the next one. Bring it out, stretch it like this. Yarn over, bring it out. Yarn over, bring it out. Secure it in its spot right here. Chain two others, one, two, and that's how the pattern goes. You're going to do this the whole chain. I'm going to repeat it one more time. You're going to skip one little fella here, going to the next one. Bring out the yarn, stretch it, yarn over, bring out the yarn, stretch it, yarn over, Bring out the yarn, stretch it, secure it in its spot, one and two, skip one, going to the next one, stretch it, yarn over, stretch it, yarn over, stretch it, secure it in its spot, one and two. So that's so it's gonna look like it's gonna curve, but you're gonna get even once you start the next row, it's gonna straighten up a lot more. But it does curve around a little bit. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row. I already crocheted all the row and I I have two left. And I'm going to go into, I'm going to skip this one and go into the last one. Bring out the yarn. Yarn over, bring out the yarn. Yarn over, bring out the yarn. And I'm going to secure it. And 
from here we're gonna go five stitches up one two five five chains <laughs> three four five and now I'm gonna turn and continue doing the same in these little gaps so I'm gonna go with my hook bring out the yarn up to about there you don't have to stretch it all the way you're gonna stretch it try to keep it the same length as the other ones that's one two three and now you're gonna secure it and chain two one two you're gonna go into the next gap right here <laughs> one see try to keep it at the same length two and three and secure it in place and chain two one more time this is what you're gonna do this is pretty much how the pattern goes you turn you chain up five and you continue going in the gaps in between you're gonna do that on the way back too I'm gonna go in this little gap here, bring out the yarn. One, two, three. Secure it. And one, two. And that's it, folks. And that's how I ended up with eight rows of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I did eight rows on this. You can make it ten. You can make it six, whichever you want. It's, if you are as fast as I am, it might take you two and a half, three hours to do that total. Maybe more if you're a beginner. And that's it. That's how it goes. This is the popcorn cowl and popcorn pattern. Hope you enjoyed it. Please share um, our videos with your friends. Subscribe to our channel, join us on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and hope you have very nice Thanksgiving and happy holidays. Thank you.